How long do you think this is going to take? Oh, jury selection's a tough call. You know that. Yeah, well, I should be helping Lucy and Gail plan Serena's birthday party instead of staying in this courtroom, uh, trying to convince the jury I didn't kidnap my daughter. Kevin has given us a profile of the kind of juror that we want. Now, it's a uh, female, 40-ish. With uh, children. Oh, definitely with children. You know, sympathetic mothers who, who don't want to see Serena taken from her father. Well, well, well. I could smell the smoke from this gathering of hard-working legal minds all the way down the hall. Would you stand away from my client, please? Oh, of course. Oh, by the way, I understand the federal prosecutor is looking for jurors who were female in their 40s with children. He intends to make you look like such a monster. Those mothers will want to hang you. Good luck. Every time I see him, I want to twist his head right off. He's just trying to rattle you. Take it easy. I'll be right back. At least our plan is working. Rumors are flying all over town that Lucy and I are on the outs. Well, that's all well and good, but it takes every bone in my body not to just kill him. I know. I understand. All rise. Court is in session. The Honorable Judge Harrington presiding. Be seated. Counselors, what kind of time frame are we looking at? Your Honor, the people feel that we can conclude our case in eight days. I think we can clear Mr. Baldwin in that time, Your Honor. Very well, my docket is cleared for the next three weeks. Bailiff, would you bring in the prospective jurors, please? Isn't it about time to pick up Serena from school? Well, Mrs. Nadler's going to bring her by so that Scotty can come to the party. So glad that the judge let Scotty see Serena outside of the family services offices. You know, uh, Serena's classmates are going to have a little party for her right after school today. The uh, decorations are just magnificent. Serena is going to love them. Well, I, I hope so. I, I didn't just do it for Serena, though. I did it for Scott, too. I just can't believe the stupid trial had to start right on Serena's birthday. I was hoping all of this would somehow make them feel better, but now I... I don't think so. Lucy, um... What was that scene all about the other day? Oh, you, you mean at the Port Charles Grill? Yeah. Uh, it, it was exactly what I, I said. I, I just don't like the way you're looking after Serena, that's all. Lucy, for heaven's sakes, Lee and I have, have Serena's best interest at heart. Uh, yes, and I'm sure you feel that way. But, as an objective observer, I just don't like the treatment that Serena's getting in your house. There, I said it. You are not an objective observer. And Serena is getting the best possible care at our house. Oh! Now look what you made me do. If there are no medical or statutory reasons why any of you should be dismissed from duty, we may begin. Clerk. Would you all stand and raise your right hands? Do you solemnly swear to truthfully answer strangers. all questions? They're strangers. They don't know me, and they're going to judge the future of my daughter? At this point, it's out of our hands. We have to have faith. And we're going to need more than that. That's all for now, thank you. The state accepts number 11. 
I could do without her if we don't waste a strike. Pam? Are you married? Ten years. And you have two children? Yes. You aware of the charges brought against my client? Yes, I am. How? I've been following it in the paper. Well, then you must have formed an opinion. Huh? I think he's guilty. Challenge this witness for cause, Your Honor. No objection from the prosecution. You're excused. You have children? Six kids. Oh, you must have strong feelings about children. Sure, I got feelings. How would you feel if someone kidnapped one of your children? I'd want to kill the person who did it. How would you feel if, if you were framed for kidnapping one of your own children? Uh, I'd want to kill the person who framed me. A moment, Your Honor. Uh, yeah, this, this one could go either way. I know. But he's a guy. He loves children. Let's go with him. Defense takes this juror, Your Honor. It's not that I hate people with money. I just, I, I don't approve of the way that some people get their money. Inheritance, that sort of thing. Especially that. Challenge for cause, Your Honor. Objection. There was nothing prejudicial in my view about this juror's idea of fairness when it comes to money. A moment, Your Honor. What do you think? What does he do for a living? Low-paying factory position. Bad risk. We'd have to use a peremptory. Do it. Strike this, juror, Your Honor. That's your third preemptory challenge. I'm only allowing four. I don't. Have faith. Have faith. Have you seen that report on the uh, biopsy from the Connor case? Uh, lab calls. Be another ten minutes. Oh. Where's the fire? Uh, I'm assisting Devlin in surgery, and I want to be scrubbing up before he is. <sighs> Dr. Ramsey won't be joining us today. Please make the necessary corrections. Sure. Excuse me. Dr. Devlin. Why am I not assisting? Because I took you off the surgery list. And I was hoping we could be professional about this. Regardless of what happened between your wife and me, I'm sure we can work together. I'm sure we can't. Uh, Dr. Devlin, may I speak to you in private? Certainly. What'd you do to get on his bad side, huh? Come on, Joe, you really think he needs a reason to act like a jerk? Is there a reason you decided not to work with Dr. Ramsey? I've observed him, I've found his work to be substandard, and I will not allow second-rate people on my team. But you have spoken highly of him in the past. That was the past. Excuse me. Scanlon, yes. you're assisting me, OR2. Yes, sir. What was that all about? Who knows? Whatever it is, I'm not going to let it stop me. that guy at all. At all. It's like next hand picked him. Definitely hostile. Well, I would, I would say challenge him, but we'd have a real fight on our hands. And we can't strike? No, we've used up all of our preemptories. We got to seat him. Your Honor, defense takes juror 17. And it looks like we have a jury, gentlemen. Ten minutes recess. All things considered, I think we did the best we could. Oh, I don't know about that. It seems to me that everybody in Port Charles believes that garbage in the papers about me. Selecting a jury's part guessing game, part luck of the draw. We know that. I know, but that's what worries me because I'm an attorney and I know that a lot of innocent people have been convicted of crimes they didn't commit because some juror didn't like their face. Let's take it easy. We haven't even started. Oh, yes, we have. And I could lose Serena because the juror's got the wrong impression of me already. I've been going over this profile of our jurors, and it is not a bad bunch. Uh, did you see the way that guy just looked at me? He can't wait to get me in jail and throw away the key. Scott, settle down. No, I'm, I'm telling you. 
Where'd that guy look at you? You gotta work on him. He's the one you gotta convince. Scott, I have 12 jurors to work on. I can't play just the one person. But come on, look here. We've got a widower. Uh, we've got a single mother. We And there's one person on the panel who's got two children and feels no child should ever be taken away from a parent. It's not good enough. Scott, you may not like it, but you have to have faith in the system. The system? Well, I know the system. That is not good enough. I have one word for what just happened to me. Awesome. Simply awesome. Okay, simply awesome is two words, but what happened? I just assisted Devlin in surgery. You got in with Devlin? He more than got in. Devlin requested him. Oh. You know, when I assisted Dr. Quartermain, I didn't come down for a week. That's great. Hey, man. I'm glad you could have such a wonderful experience at my expense. I think you need to tame that ego, Ramsey. It wasn't at your expense. So you think you just got lucky? Ramsey, you always write such sloppy pre-op reports. What? Gross errors, inattention to basic There's protocol. There's nothing wrong with that report. A first-year med student could have done better. I won't have it on my watch. Well, I thought Borbin was tough. Devlin's got him beat by a mile, doesn't he? Better watch your back. All right. Now you want to tell me what's going on? I don't know. I'm serious, Chris. I know that man better than you ever will. He's out to get you. I can handle it. Well, whatever it is you did to make him angry, you better fix it. Fast. Wow, this is great! <laughs> hey, you little birthday pumpkin head. Hello, Mrs. Nadler. So... Dr. Baldwin. Hello. Daddy, where are you? Are you hiding? Oh, Serena, you know what? He's not here just yet, but but he he'll, he'll be here he'll be here very soon. And I want to see him. Well, I know. Uh, of course you do. But you know what? Before that, I gotta hear because a little birdie told me that the kids at school gave you a party. How was it? Was it fun? It was just okay. It was nice. Okay. See? Nice is better than okay. It was pretty fun, right? So, oh, look, look what I have. Look what I have. I've got all these little blower things. You know, there's so much fun. I've got chocolate chip cookies and punch. Do you want some punch? No, thanks. You know what? Why don't we go and put on the Spice Girls record, and then the party will be in full swing when Daddy gets here. Yeah, that's a great idea. You know, I've been practicing my Ziggy 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 thing, you know, and Karen, she can help me, because she's coming, Ziggy Ziggy, and Kevin, he's going to be here, and guess what? Sigmund's going to come later, probably, but he's kind of down at the pond, busy, you know, with a little... So, he sends his regards. Party can't start until then. Okay. Well, you know what? He is going to be here any minute. There is nothing that could keep your daddy away from you. Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, you have now been selected as the trial jury in this case. Court is adjourned until tomorrow morning. Well, so you lost on jury selection. It's only a matter of time now. You keep counting the days, Stan, because you haven't got many left. <clears throat> well, when Serena is celebrating her birthday with me next year, we'll be sure and send you pictures of the party. Or better yet, how about a piece of her birthday cake with a file in it? <laughs> Scott, don't play into his games. He wants to make you angry. He wants you to snap right here in front of the jury. Now, don't let him get to you like that. Of course he does. We're going to win. Serena's depending on me. We are going to win. What's up, kiddo? Aren't you glad to see me? I am. Then let's party. Come on. Come on, Ziggy. Remember Ziggy? Ziggy's Ziggy. a... Uh, ooh, come on. We have to wait for Daddy. The party can't start without him. Somebody's birthday around here? Daddy! Oh, there she is. Whoa, oh, my gosh. Look out, kid. Out of control. Nine, one, two. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Look at all the decorations. Oh, I don't yeah. have to look at the decorations. As I got the prettiest decoration right here. Mm -hmm. We waited for you and you came. Well, of course. <laughs> of course. I'm always going to come. Oh, 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 that time. Time for the cake. Hey, 
birthday. Time for the birthday, girl. There you go. Happy birthday. Can I make my wish now? Yep. Yeah, think of a good one. I wish I could live with my daddy again. Okay. Oh. One candle doesn't go out. Well, that's all right. Give it a shot again. You can't do it again. One candle doesn't go out. My wish will never come true. Oh, Serena. It's all right. Said she needs comforting here. I'll take care of it. This trial's having a terrible effect on Serena. It's on Scott, too. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me. Who's me? It's me, the extra wish guy with a magic cake. That's a cupcake. No, it isn't. It's magic. See, you don't need a very big piece of cake to put the extra wish candle on. There's no such thing. If you have a regular birthday cake, and you go to blow out the candles, and one candle is left, then you get to make an extra special wish. And that's why I got the magic cake here. You made that up. I didn't make it up. I didn't. Okay, now listen. Close your eyes. And blow. Blow. Quick, open your eyes. Quick, 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 quick. See those wisps of smoke? Those are little wisp fairies. And they're off to make your little wish come true. I know that things have been really, really rough on you, but I'm telling you, they're going to get better. Do you promise? I do. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't a promise. Oh. Happy birthday. Dr. Devlin. Just wanted to let you know that I'm putting you on notice. Notice? I'm not going to take this crap from you anymore. Leave the hospital. Don't walk away from me. Take your hand off me. Quiet. I'd rather let my lawyers handle it anyway. Well, you going to sue me? For what? Uh, taking you off surgical rotation? You're an intern. It happens. I'll sue you for harassment. There's been no harassment here. <laughs> you singled me out for improper treatment because I slept with your wife. Keep your voice down. What? You don't want people to know that I, I slept with her? You made your point. You stay out of my way, I'll stay out of yours. Fine. They're looking over you. And your father, too. You are my brave, brave, beautiful girl. And you are surrounded by so much love.
This is Charles Gibson. And Lisa McCree. Tomorrow, a consumer alert. Mail order disasters. What you should know to protect yourself. Plus, actress Courtney Cox and a live performance by Shania Twain. Tomorrow on Good Morning America. When Trevor chooses sides, will he lose his future with Janet? Watch what happens on All My Children Today.